okay. So what I thought I'd do is just take each piece of plastic out and see what we find. And it's kind of morbid, but here we go. Okay, so we have a plastic lid. Plastic stopper of some kind. Piece of plastic fishing. Another plastic lid. Another plastic lid. Hmm. Okay. Gloves on for sanitation. Some random piece of plastic. Plastic lid. Plastic lid. Categorize these things a little bit. Random plastic, plastic lid, random plastic, random plastic, plastic lid, plastic lid, a couple plastic lid looking things. Random plastic, random plastic, random plastic, plastic lid, random plastic, random plastic, more plastic. Oh, piece of pumice. I need to, there's a story about pumice, so I need to tell you guys about that after I learn more. Um, more plastic. Um, random plastic. A bunch of little bits of random plastic here, you can see. I'm not going to take it all out, I just want to get the big stuff. More plastic. Bone. Just get that out. More plastic. Oh, look at that. A couple more lids. More random pieces of plastic. Looks like it was part of a spoon or something. Random plastic. So all these, look at all these little random bits of plastic. So, you know, I could go on picking through every little piece, but I think the important thing to remember here is this was a nestling, and its parents went out to sea foraging for squid and fish, and this is what they picked up thinking it was food and brought back, and regurgitated and fed to this nestling at the time. And obviously there's no nutrition in this plastic, but some people suggest that one reason the, the adults pick up the plastic is because sometimes uh, small sea creatures attach themselves like small barnacles and whatnot, which might attract the seabirds in the first place, the albatross. So anyway, that was my amateur necropsy of the deceased Lazan albatross fledgling from 2013 that was filled with plastic.